G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv. And in this video, we're going to take another look at input query. So I have a little login button here, which does an input query and takes, grabs a username and password and puts them into a array of size two. We're not doing anything with it, with those values, but at the moment, so that's cool. So if we run it, username Alistair, password test, or, or whatever, and you have logged in. So basically, if I do anything, uh, into anything but pressing cancel or close on the dialog, we get authentication failure. So what we can do is input query has another parameter, which is a, scroll along a bit, a close query func, or t input query close query func, which is a reference to a function and I can just copy that. So this is a, an anonymous method. And if we come up and paste that there and, oops, copied a little bit too much. We'll call, give it the creative name of validate input. And I'll just press control shift C to create that. And call same text on the first parameter values zero and verify that that is uh, in fact Alistair. Oops. And, and we'll call same stra for the password because we want the, the case to matter. And make sure that it is test. And if we run that, Oops, ah, I need to pass it, pass it in as, as a parameter as well. And yep, that's compiling. So, username Alistair, password, well, let's go TE. In fact, if I press enter or go OK, nothing's happening until, until I have in fact entered the correct password. So what we want to do is We'll go authentication failure here. And I'm going to say the user pressed cancel or close in this instance. Now displaying, so it's working nicely. And if I go cancel, we get pressed cancel or close. Um, displaying the um, password in clear text is not a good idea. It might be uh, handy to be able to get the um, spelling correct and what have you, but uh, not very good in terms of a security um, precaution. And neither storing the password in plain text in your application, but we'll ignore that issue. What we want to do is hide it. Now, if we have a look at show input query, there is this um, get password char. And we see that if the first value of caption is less than 32, um, we re there is a password character. Um, and if we scroll down, we can see that we're um, in fact checking if there's a password character and somewhere in there it's um, using that. But anyway, um, so basically what that means is hash one or probably even hash zero, but I don't know, one definitely works. In fact, uh, you have logged in. So um, that's quite quite a handy uh, feature of input query and it's not immediately obvious obvious or is it mentioned in the help press f1 uh, and so yes so we would kind of it's array of string and it's not really mentioning anything about the password or password character so 
I waited up to 32. That becomes, I think it's an exclamation point or something. Uh, no, it's is it a space. Oh, it's 31. That's the... Right, okay. So anything under 32. And we get a password prompt. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. I hope that was handy. It's um, an interesting feature of input query. I wasn't aware of it until someone pointed it out in one of the comments on my previous video on input query. So we've added this uh, validate input and adding an extra character to the prompt. Uh, so the username is displayed in clear text and the password is hidden. So I hope you found that useful. It's an interesting feature of input query. And on that subject of useful things, you may be aware that I have published a book, uh, Code Faster in Delphi. Uh, it's had really excellent reviews. Uh, it's a nice short book, 160 pages thereabouts. Uh, and But it is jam-packed with useful information on how to make you a faster programmer in Delphi. So that's worth checking out. And also uh, premium content. Um, also, the, the mega pack is well worth checking out that has a lot of content available in it. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope uh, you don't mind a little bit of uh, advertising. Uh, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv.